The upper classes in every country are selfish, depraved, dissolute and decadent. Dennis Healy went from communist firebrand at Oxford to Member of Parliament and later one of our longest serving Defence Secretaries. He was Chancellor in some of Britain's darkest economic days. He became the standard bearer of the Labour right. Dennis Healy making his last appearance. Newsnight has returned bench. over the years to his East Sussex home. Visiting for the final time just a few weeks ago for his last broadcast interview. How would he like to be remembered? I don't want to be remembered particularly. I think my proudest one is one that almost nobody knows. When I was involved in a defence secretary in the war in the Far East, I concentrated on the war of confrontation in Borneo, which we won with only about 100 people killed. And that was overwhelmingly, I think, because I wouldn't use the Air Force to drop bombs because they make more enemies than friends. What motivated you? You, you, were, a, you were a serviceman. Yeah. You decided to stand for the Labour Party yeah. in 1945. What was it that propelled you? I wanted to change the world. Above all, I wanted to decide whether or not we took part in a war, and wars are decided by governments. Well, if you were a young man today, would you... you well, said, I'm a young well, man. You are what a young... the fucking hell are you doing? <laughs> well, if you were a younger man, you know, if you were starting your career again, yeah. um, you talked about how you wanted to go into politics because of your experience of the war, to yeah. prevent war. Would you go into politics now? I don't think so, no. I think the, this is one of the big differences between my generation and the present generation, that, first of all, the class war is over, whereas in my time it was the dominant element in, the, in politics. But now nobody gives a bugger if... Some people say that you were, the, you were the best Prime Minister that we never had. Do you regret now not becoming Prime Minister? I do, I do now, but I never wanted to be Prime Minister because I wanted to do something rather than be something. But of course, I didn't realise when I said that, that if you want to do something, it's more important to be PM than to be Foreign Secretary or Defence Secretary. But uh, well, that's it then.